Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest Big Jumpy Bird Hunting. There are no quest requirements and the stat requirements are 5 fletching, 30 cooking and 30 ranged. For the items needed are any usable axe, about 100 feathers, a knife, a chisel and approximately 5 wolf bones. For the recommended items are, as always, weight reducing armor and about 1 stamina potion should be enough. And because we will need to pass level 53 ogres and 64 wolves, maybe bring along some food. And what is also recommended to bring to speed up this quest is a tomato, dougal leaves, onion, equal leaves, potato and a cabbage. These six items can be bought from the Grand Exchange, but they're also available pretty close to the quest start. As for the teleports, none really, just one after the quest is completed. Now first, how to get here to the quest start? I have used the fairy ring code AKS, which is just located west of the quest start. You could also use the Feldip teleport scroll and run a bit northeast, or use Castle Wars or the Nightmare Zone teleport and then just run south. Or if you've completed one small favor quest, then you can use the Gnome Glider and just also run east. So here at Rance at the quest start, let's talk to him and select option 3. Next, go a bit southwest and you'll find three Angie trees. Chop down all three of them. Then use your knife on the locks and make into arrow shafts. Then use your feathers on the arrow shafts. Then use your chisel on the wolf bones to make into arrow tips. And then use these arrow tips on the flighted ogre arrows to make ogre arrows. Once you've made more than six, let's return to Rans and he will take six of them. And now we will need to select option one through five. Four and then option five. Next, let's go north. And let's enter the cave. Inside of the cave you'll find two ogre children. Talk to any of the two and they will tell you where the ogre bellows are located. Next, go to the northwestern corner and there you'll find a locked ogre chest. Click on it to try to unlock it and depending on your strength level you will either fail or succeed. Just keep trying until you've unlocked it. Search it to find some ogre bellows. One is enough. Next, let's exit the cave and let's return to Rance. Since I don't have many ogre arrows left, I'm going back to the anti trees and chop down some more. I think I will need about mm, six or so. Nah, not really. I'm just gonna chop two more logs, more feathers on these. And then some more ogre tips. Right, this is plentiful to kill one chompy. Next, from Rance, go west until you see a small swamp with a lot of ogres and level 64 wolves. Go to the western side and here next to the dead tree it is a nice safe spot. Let's use our ogre bellows on the swamp bubbles around the edge of the swamp. Next, use our filled ogre bellows on three hopping swamp toads. Once you have three, let's return to Rans. Let's talk to him. And then a pointing arrow should appear on your minimap. Let's go there. And around the area of the pointing arrow, let's drop our three bloated toads. And then let's return to Rance. Let's talk to him and this should start a cutscene. Well, first we'll need to wait for a chompy to appear. 
and then Rance will shoot it. But he will miss, and he will blame it on the ogre arrows that you've made. So, let's talk to him after he has said that the arrows are rubbish, and select option 2, and then 1. Once he has given you the bow, equip it as well as your arrows, and then kill the chompy bird that has appeared. Only one is enough. It is possible that more have spawned. Alright, once you've killed the chompy bird, pluck it. And then take the raw chompy. And then let's talk to Rance. If you have not brought along six of these ingredients, they will need to read what Rance says. And for me, he wants potato with his chompy. After the conversation is over, let's return to the two children inside of the cave. And let's ask them what they want with their chompy. So let's read it. He wants cabbage. He wants a tomato. Next, let's go south and let's go north of Rance. There you should find a ogre spit. If you have brought all of these six items, just simply use your raw chumpy on the ogre spit and you should successfully cook it with the needed ingredients. But if you have not brought all of these six items, then you can also get them in the nearby area. Just southeast of Rance, there you'll find a potato, aqua leaves, and a cabbage spawn. Just west of the small pond where we have caught our three bloated toads, there is a tomato and an onion spawn. And just west from the potato and onion spawn, there are four dougal leaf spawns. So, once you have your required items, and you have cooked your seasoned chompy on the ogre spit roast, let's talk to Rance to complete our quest. And congratulations, you've completed big chompy bird hunting quest, you are awarded with two quest points. A bunch of random experience, an ogre bow, ability to fletch ogre arrows, as well as ability to kill and cook chompy birds, ability to earn bowman hats by killing the chompy birds, as well as you have completed a quest requirement for Recipe for Disaster freeing the Lumbridge Guide, as well as freeing Scratch Ugluck Wee, Zogre Flesh Eaters, and Moorings End Part 1. Alright, this was my quick guide how to complete Big Chumpy Bird Hunting Quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. Can I kill his bird? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. That would be so rude.